Hey, what's happening, guys? I figured we have a little talk before we started today's video. And the first thing that I want to talk about is as of today, May 5th, 2023, I am no longer affiliated in any way with PCBWay. They do make excellent PCBs. I can never fault any PCB I've gotten from them. They have been top quality. Unfortunately, their business practices leave quite a bit to be desired. I have been with them since, I don't know, 2018, I think. Somewhere in that area. And... I have had to fight numerous times to get paid and we have a contract but they know them being in China and you know us being in the United States there's not a whole lot I can do about their contract so when they didn't pay me this time and if you've been following along you know I've had difficulties with other businesses I deal with getting paid but that may be sorted out at the end of this month I'll let you know so that's that I want to thank everybody yesterday who pointed out to me that you actually have to press the button to turn this on this is a super cool little uh, LED watch thing and definitely going to be seeing that in the future so why are we here today? Well, we're talking about the TF Luna, which is a uh, time of flight sensor. And it is actually my third one. Three. This is the first one I got. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. I'm going to shine some more light onto it up here and... There, I mean, is that better? Yeah. So you see the little hole in the IC there? That's what fires out the laser beam. I guess it catches it too, huh? Not really sure. Anyway, I went through three of these things who all claim to be 5 volt tolerant for Arduino. They're not. They work one time. See, it's got a voltage regulator, so I thought it would work. But no, they work one time, and if you put them up to regular Arduino, they're dead. So, they're very low cost, which is why I bought them, but they don't work, so to heck with it. What we've got instead is this device right here. This is the TF Luna, which is a time of flight sensor as well. It fires a laser through one of these. One is the emitter, one is the receiver. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. My only complaint with it so far is that I had to cut this little cable it came with to make it work. Yeah, I'm sure I could have found a female one of these and put it all together, but yeah. Anyway, let's talk about the pinout for this, okay? I've seen a lot of people complaining that they were unable to get this thing to work under I squared C, which is where I have it working now. They were only able to get it to work as a UART. And if you look here at the pin numbers, you'll see pin 1 is R5 volt, pin 2 is RX or SD, pin 3 is TX or clock, pin 4 is ground, pin 5, this is one you got to watch here, configuration input, ground. So if you ground pin 5, you are in I squared C mode. But if you put it to 3.3 volts, not 5, 3.3 volts, you will get the serial communication mode. Now, I'm not sure what this multiplexing output thing is here. It says default is on off mode output, I squared C mode, data availability signal, but not switching. I don't know what any of that means, but it's working. And I'll show you. I'm not going to set up the whole computer thing. You're just going to ride with me over to the computer. So hang on. Okay. So there is the serial port. We're getting a distance of 159 centimeters. Now I'm bringing my hand in here and I'm coming closer and closer. 
and then we get further and further and further away. And this guy is good up to eight meters. So the way I have things connected here, and pin one is marked with this red wire. Pin one you can see down here goes to my VCC rail, which in this case is five volts. Pin two, which is the blue one, that's SDA, that goes to A4. Pin three, that's the white one. That's SCL, that goes to pin five. And then over here, they have pin four on the uh, TF Luna. That is grounded. Pin five is grounded. Pin six is left disconnected. And like I, like I showed you, you know, it works just fine. So I'm going to be adding this into my uh, parking sensor that we did a month or so ago. I'll put a link to it down below. And uh, that's going to be coming up in a video pretty soon. Also, uh, somebody had commented about my pin straightener doohickey. And uh, they put a link down there where you can download a 3D printable one of these. So check the comments in uh, yesterday's video. It was the one on uh, the LED watch part three, I believe. All right, guys, it's Friday. That's all I got for you. Just didn't want to let you go into the weekend without catching you up to everything that's going on. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.